Then came World War II. As the world descended into chaos, Hedy, herself a Jewish refugee from Nazi Europe, wanted to help. She had money, she had fame, but she wanted more than war bonds and posters. She wanted to fight with ideas. In 1940, Lamar met George Antheil, an avant-garde composer known for synchronizing multiple player pianos in his performances. She told him about a problem plaguing Allied forces. Enemy submarines were jamming radio-controlled torpedoes, rendering them useless. What if, she proposed, the control signals could hop between radio frequencies in a way the enemy couldn't predict, like musical notes shifting on a piano roll? Anthile, ever the musician, saw the genius in the metaphor. Together, they devised a plan, a frequency-hopping spread spectrum, where both transmitter and receiver would rapidly switch frequencies in perfect synchronization, making it nearly impossible to jam or intercept the signal. It was cutting edge, it was revolutionary, and it worked. On August 11, 1942, Lamar and Anthill were awarded U.S. Patent Number 2,292,387 for their secret communication system. They gave it for free to the U.S. Navy. And the Navy said no. They dismissed the idea as impractical, citing the complexity of the mechanism. Perhaps they couldn't believe that a Hollywood actress and a piano player had just cracked one of the thorniest problems in military communication. Instead, the Navy asked Hetty to go on tour, not to explain her invention, but to sell war bonds with her smile.